Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Max Blumich. This game was played in Dresden, Germany, in 1926. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with d4. Max Blumich played knight to f6, knight to f3, g6, and now bishop to g5. Interesting choice going for tor attack. Bishop to g7, knight to e4 was another way to continue. And after bishop to f4, bishop to g7, knight from b to d to d5. In the game we have bishop to g7 and now knight from b to d2, preventing knight to e4. Blumich castled kingside. e3, d6. If d5 is played, then white knight can jump to e5. Bishop to c4, knight to c6, c3, a6, queen to e2, Bishop to g4, pinning the knight. h3, black to move. To take or to keep the bishop pair. Blumich played bishop to d7. He liked his bishop. Knight to h2. What is the purpose of this move? Hmm? Alehin wants to play f4. Queen to c8. Well, Blumich considered e5 immediately, but then knight to e4. That's what he didn't like. So he wanted to move queen to c8 and then to play e5. f4, e5, f takes on e5, d takes on e5, Alehin castle, kingside, and now knight to h5, threatening knight to g3, Forking the queen and the rook. This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do? I will not ask you to pause. But if you wish, you can. Well, the move that comes to mind here is something like rook to f2. Do you agree? Or maybe queen to f3? Also preventing knight to g3? This is not what Alehin played. He surprised his opponent big time by playing rook takes on f7. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook. King takes bishop. How would you continue now? A piece was sacrificed in order to draw black king in the open and to start a king hunting season. Everybody can sacrifice a piece, but follow up is what matters. Do you agree? Queen to c4, you had to see this move before sacrificing the rook. Bishop to e6, d5, bishop takes on d5, perhaps knight to g3 was better. We have bishop takes on d5. Why to move? What would you do now? Would you capture the bishop or would you play rook to f1 check? Hmm? Alehin played rook to f1. Is this your choice too? Well, strangely, if your choice was queen takes bishop, this is a better move. He played rook to f1 check. Knight to f6. Missing the best defense. What is the best move for black in this position? The best is king to e6. And after queen to g4, king to d6. And it's not so easy for white. Well, let's play a few more moves. 
Knight to c4 check. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. And then perhaps b5. There is lots of fight left in the game. However, Blumich played knight to f6, giving white a second chance to win the bishop. Queen takes bishop check. Queen to e6. Queen to f3. Queen to f5. White played the move and black resigned. The move is Bishop takes on f6, Blumich resigned. One line goes like this. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen. Bishop takes on f6 and now knight to g4 and how to save the bishop. Bishop can't be saved. Black can attack the knight. But after knight takes on f6, white one apiece. And if rook takes knight, then knight to e4, discover check, king to e7, knight takes rook. And let's go back to move 18. This is the position. Incredible. That Alekhin didn't play the best move. Perhaps you guessed it. I'd like to know if you guessed the move. Because it looks so obvious, doesn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.